Uh, today I'm here in Riverside, California at Robert Garcia's gym with Xavier Martinez. How are you doing? Today? Good, how about you? I'm doing good, thank you for asking. I know your next fight is on July 28th with Andres Cortez at the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. How do you feel coming into that fight now that you've been training here at Robert Garcia's gym? I'm excited and I'm really confident. This has to be my best camp in the past two years. You know, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm just excited, you know, for the opportunity because, you know, with the sport, you know, you don't get set many chances. So to have an opportunity to get back to where I was, you know, I have to grab by the horns. And, you know, this is my moment right here. And how do you like training here at Robert Garcia's gym with so many uh, great fighters here? It's nice to be in an area where everybody's kind of almost, you have some people at the same level as you and you have some people that aren't, but everybody trains hard. And then it's also nice to talk to other people that have the same mindset as you. Um, it's a great experience being here and you know, I'm blessed to be here. You're from Sacramento, so how does it feel to represent Sacramento and just to fight for them and for all your fights? I'm ready to bring a world title back to Sacramento. You know, we haven't had a world champion since Tony the Tiger and then also Diego Corrales. You know, he was one of the champions too, so I'm excited. You know, this is my opportunity to bring a title back to Sacramento and put it back on the map. And you have two kids. Your son was just born in January. Um, how did they inspire you in your career? Oh, they inspire me a lot. Um, man, it's... it's being a, a father is like it's the best gift that you get it's just amazing it's hard to put into words but they're my everything in my world um I've, i haven't seen them in almost two months you know it's part of the game it's part of the sport but you know um, i do this for them you know so they can live a comfortable life and you know i can give them things i didn't have and there's also another huge fight in vegas coming up the terrence crawford versus errol spence fight what's your take on that fight it's gonna be a tough one i, I i'm leaning towards errol spence but I think I don't know. It's, it's still kind of up in the air for me because they're both talented. They're both dogs. So you know, at the end of the day, we'll just see who you know who brings brings it the most. In the sport of boxing, a lot of confidence is needed. Uh, what gives you the confidence and drive to keep you going? I think just having the support, having a support system. Um, also, just believing in God and you know putting God first in everything I do.